Now, I don't know about you guys, but the most difficult decision I've had to make in Scrap Mechanic is the type of vehicle that I use to take my packages to the trader. Uh, this is kind of a variation of what I was driving. What I was driving before was the same length, but it was four times as wide as this. That enabled me to deliver an entire chest worth of stuff, but it was running on a bearing engine. And the reason why I was doing that is because of the weight of it was the only thing that was uh, able to move it. However, those bearings started to go absolutely crazy when the weight got on, and I had to lift it on the lift and let the bearing you know, just do its thing until it had finished, and then ultimately it ended up completely going wrong. So I made it smaller and turned it into this. So I built a hook lift truck. For those of you that don't know what it means, what that literally means is it's a truck that has a hook style connection point and then a trailer that has two hooks on it. Or, you know a hook system anyway but what this does mean is I can use one vehicle with multiple purposes these little trailers if you want to call it that you can do whatever you want to them so if I want to design a, a trailer that will take the cage farmers I can do that if I want to design a trailer that will take the resource collectors I can do that and it, it means that I can keep things very varied I don't have to have the same system set up in order to do those things but the truck is still the truck, it's still the same thing. So just show you guys what we've got over here is an example. In my mind, this thing might work better on a multiplayer because it means that somebody is able to load up your packages as they're getting launched out and somebody or a couple of people using a, a hook lift truck are able to run those packages back and forth to the trader. But it's just something that I feel as my time in scrap mechanic goes on and especially with all the little changes that they make where sometimes bearings will make the system laggy and other times it won't and sometimes pistons are able to be really strong and sometimes they're not i'm finding that less is more in terms of vehicle design now this does mean that sometimes you don't quite get that awesome looking vehicle that you want but it does mean that the vehicle that you do have is going to last a little bit longer and be able to be a little capable so my little truck here just runs off of an electric motor, it's fully upgraded to level 5 and it's nice and simple. Yes it only takes 4, I've got front and rear wheel steering but it's nice and easy if you like. And like I said the variety that you can have with those trailers I think makes this system something worth looking at. Don't get me wrong, I am missing the massive capacity. I used to have an entire trailer that would take an entire chest full of stuff so nearly 30 packages itself so to go from 30 down to 4 well obviously that's a huge reduction in numbers but at the same time it's a system that's more capable and it's just a little bit more fun i might create a thunderbird 2 style machine which will enable me to transport a few more packages nothing too big nothing too crazy because i want to keep it nice and maneuverable and nice and manageable so we might be looking at something that might take 8 packages or 9 packages, maybe even 18 packages, depending on how all the numbers work out and the weight works out. Well, I just thought I'd share with you this kind of design for the hook lift. I know there's a few people out there who like this kind of thing, but I must admit it was actually really simple. There's no pistons involved, it's just a couple of bearings and... Even then, the number of bearings that you use only depends on how you want to do it. So for me, the only thing that works here are these two bearings. I just run these off of a controller. I connected up both. I don't know if it makes a difference. I'm not going to lie to you. In my head, it goes, if I connect up both, then it's going to be kind of twice as strong, if that makes sense, rather than if you just have a three swinging and bearing. But that is that is it. So you you find the exact midpoint of your bed, and you stick your bearing there, and your truck arm just does its thing. Then you just literally put some hooks on your trailer and jobs are good in. You can do this system in so many different ways. You can make it far more complex where there are pistons involved and various different movements. But for the very basics, all you need is a bear and a controller and a switch. That is it. A little hook bar, so a straight bar that the uh, hooks from the trailer will hook onto. And you guys saw it. It was nice and easy. Sometimes it is a little bit wayward, you know, if I put a, an extension bar at the back to keep the trailer kind of lined up to the sides, it makes sure it goes in perfect, but it does work sort of 99% of the time. 
and you wouldn't even know that's the best thing unless you saw the hooks on the front you wouldn't even know that this isn't a flatbed i mean other than the fact that you know there's a little bit of a difference here get some weight on that though absolute perfect and it seems pretty stable it seems pretty sturdy these are also on bearings as well to enable them to rotate freely round to enable the platform to slide up and down but if you look it does come on at such a steep angle that it, it basically misses it anyway so it's not too bad might be a little bit unrealistic in the fact that it lifts the truck up but you know it's a hook lift truck it's scrap mechanic it's there to do a purpose and not gonna lie to you guys i quite like it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy it See you next time. Bye, guys.